U.S. Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call U.S. Med today. You'll be glad you did. It's human nature to sometimes take for granted the people and places that we experience every day, and sometimes it takes outsiders to see remarkable things in our familiar daily lives. And such is the case these days in another of the places where we live, the quiet Kern County oil town of Taft, where two out-of-town documentary filmmakers just keep finding magic in the mundane. Seventeen's Robert Price follows this report. It started with a random drive through Filmmaker Daniel Jacobs, a Cleveland native living in Los Angeles, was touring oil museums around Southern California for a possible project about the culture of the American oil field. Then he discovered Taft, population 9,000 and change. And something else occurred to him, something better. He called his filmmaking buddy Tobias Finkelstein, a native of Long Island, New York, who had also come to LA to make documentaries. They developed a plan B, the star of their documentary would be Taft itself, its history, its lovable quirks, its future, as seen through the eyes of its own people. But to do it, they had to convince some of the locals they weren't here to make fun of the town or set them up for some kind of politically motivated hit piece. Here's Tobias Finkelstein. I uh, am very happy to have an opportunity not to talk about anything that's overly politically charged. I spent a lot of time uh, getting to know people and I am very in love with the town. The people here are very nice. The people here have phenomenal stories to tell. There's a very meaningful atmosphere here. It's, a, it's an atmosphere that is totally saturated with history, with overcoming challenges, with perseverance, and Americana. And more than a year later, they're still at it. Co-director Daniel Jacobs loved this story in particular. One of the ones that I thought was really interesting was the uh, world record for most pizzas baked in 24 hours. Was the, the town uh, sort of got together to do that uh, during Old Dorado uh, several years ago. And just the number of ovens and people and logistics and community that you need to do that record is, is super impressive. And then there was this little gem about the Dobro, a so-called resonator guitar developed just after the turn of the previous century by two men from Taft. Today, the filmmakers are at the Taft headquarters of Oil Dorado Days, the town's beloved century-old festival that celebrates the town's gritty Old West boomtown origins. Oil Dorado was canceled last year because of the pandemic. It took a war to cancel at the previous time, but now it's back, scheduled for this October. The filmmakers were interviewing Shannon Miller, president of the Oil Dorado Festival. She admits there may have been some trepidation among the town folk about two big city filmmakers turning their cameras on their humble little town. But they won them over. I told him from the beginning that you're going to have a difficult time. There's always that kind of hesitation of like, what are they going to say? Are they going to, you know, paint us in a good light or in a bad light? And, you know, I told him, I said, be prepared for that when you start to introduce yourself to people in our community. Now that he's been here and that he's become a little bit more immersed in the, in the culture and the community and um, people are a lot more receptive. And, you know, some of the stories that he's been able to uncover have been, I, they're things that I didn't even know. So a year's worth of material will have to be condensed into 90 minutes or so. They'll manage with the help of film editor. Leah Turner and a filmmaker's shoehorn. The filmmakers would love nothing more than to have their documentary debut right here at the Taft Fox Theater. What might the title say up there on the marquee? They're not saying, or maybe they haven't decided yet. But one possibility, how a small oil town came to trust two out-of-town filmmakers. In Taft, Robert Price, 17 News. Just please don't call it a hard scrabble town in Kern County. That's been used enough by one certain newspaper down south. But Very Tobias, fair. Tobias Finkelstein. Now that is a name you want to That is a name, forget. that is a name. But That's tonight, a you know, nice see Taft getting a little recognition here. It's beautiful. Yep. All right. A bear found wandering around a Kern County neighborhood is safely captured. Still to come on 17 News at 6.